Hello, it's Jimmy here at O'Reilly. So, just doing a service on a VW transporter here at the moment, but we've also got this Citroen relay for a diagnostic assessment. So, that's a bit boring service. Don't really want to show you that because it's just general stuff. This one has come down from elsewhere and it's got issues where it goes into lip mode. And obviously, he wants me to sort try and sort that out. Uh, so, let's get inside and have a look. Okay, we're going to use the Launch X431 Euro. So we're going to hit diagnose. We've just taken it from the VW, put it in here now. Go into the system. Okay, we're just running a scan right now. So this is obviously Citroen Berlingo B9, they call it. Oh, there you go, Berlingo B9. So, how, how long have you had the fault and how uh, has anyone tried to repair it? No, uh, literally less than a week. Okay. So the alternator got put in. Yeah. Uh, then it had to go for some pain work. So, yeah, within the last couple of days, it's come on the light. Okay. But they did put it onto the machine. Yep. Um, he got a couple of codes, and he deleted them for whatever reason. I don't know. And it was only left with this one code. P fourteen forty five. That's the particulate filter. Yeah. Okay, so we're just waiting for the scan to finish. So it's had the codes cleared but not tried to be repaired. That seems to be everyone's answer. Clear the fault code. Uh, so it's just had an alternator. Got an alternator fault right there. This is what we're here to look at. Why is the engine light cube coming on? P0100 and a P3008 airflow issue. So when you floor it, the triangle light comes on. Uh, this one. Yeah, that one. Yeah. Only if you floor it. Yeah, first thing in the morning, and you just, and then you could hear that hissing noise, whistling noise, okay. and then after that, it just goes out. Okay, so we're going to use this diagnostic leak detector. I'm going to get it connected up to the inlet. Just, just like that. Just pump that up a little bit. Switch it on and we'll create smoke, pressurize it through the system. It sounds like it's got an air leak. He said he can hear noise, and obviously, we've got a fault code there. We have got oily residue around here. Uh, it's just happened after it's been fitted with an alternator. It went back to who fitted the alternator, they cleared the code, sent them out again, but obviously, the fault's back. So, see if we can diagnose what's wrong with it. They could have left these, but well, there, there we go. Just about to say it, they could have left these pipes loose. Either the pipes loose or the intercooler is cracked. What's going on? Is it the intercooler? Can't exactly see just yet. So I've taken off the pipe. I can't see any visible damage on it, but it's possible that I can't see something there. Hopefully, it's not. Not a cracked piece of plastic on here, I'm thinking I can't see just yet. So if we flip this over, look at this side, it looks like that's been pushed in. So it's basically been sealed over with that tucked tucked inside. I think that might have been the issue. Let's just try and put it back on and we'll we'll try that. Okay, refitted, smoke test back on. You can't really see the numbers on there, but get it up to a couple of PSI. Right, a couple of minutes have gone by, it's definitely not leaking anymore, so turns out it was just, um, the pipe was folded over as it was pushed in down there and uh, wasn't sailing up. So, pretty straightforward really. Um, he did have a P1445 code and another code for the DPF, they've cleared all that off. Um, but this vehicle is going to need the pat fluid tank doing and possibly the DPF cleaning, I'm not sure yet. But it would definitely need the pat fluid tank doing. So that's that's it really for this video. Uh, it doesn't want the pad fluid uh, tank doing, so we're just going to leave it at that for today and see you on the next video.